Or I would just come down to Pittsfield Heath Lake again for a short session. Middle of the day, unfortunately, again, this place prefers about 3 o'clock in the morning and 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, the runners are running around and stuff. There's a couple of ducks in the swim just setting up. And uh, gonna put about 30 baits on each line. Just out there, same as always, same spots. There's a nice silk bed there. And I'm gonna put a white pop up on the choddy. Mainly because, like I said, it's all silk. So, alright, guys, Let's see how it goes. Right. Okay, guys, I'm putting a 12 15 mil pop up set quite high because of the silt. Size 10 hook inside the Cuvier nugget. I put that in the bottom of my PVA bag. Now, foolishly, I've got loads of bags and nothing to stop it with, so it's a case of just hold it open with your fingers pretty wide and shovel. A sweet corn, mini pellets, tuna, boilies, everything going into this mix. Lots of chilli, sea salt, bit of a Danny Fairbrass mix but I mean everybody's using it these days but I noticed the guys here aren't using stick mixes so I decided to use it. Push it all down, crush it down, watch out for the sweet one though because it's still a bit wet. Okay. Now, only one, I've been doing the PVA bags down here two ways. One with a threading needle, small bags tied up and threading needle putting the rig through the middle. But this pop up, I want it to break down and then suddenly appear above it. So all in rip the bag down. Tell her I think she's gonna tie off. Bring the rest of the rig outside of that thing and then just This is uh, going to be tied to a running inline bag, right? This is fluorocarbon, so you want to be a bit careful not to kink it and bugger it about too much. Right, okay. So you see the pop up with the nugget at the bottom. Uh, and. Uh, we're now going to lick and stick the sides and make it aerodynamic and cut these tags off, alright? If you want to, you can just lick them and stick them to the side, it doesn't make much difference. It's not a huge chuck, it's something like 50 yards at an angle at the moment. Just saw another carp jump out just this side of the Nature Reserve Sanctuary over there, where the ropes are. And I'm just placing down the sides. It's not brilliant, but like I said, she's not going that far. So aerodynamic. Done. Just a PVA bag. Okay, don't bring it with this. That's it.
Okay guys, we've just had an eight pounder uh, from out where we saw them sploshing out. It was a good idea to move both the rods once they started jumping out. Okay, tufties are staying out in the middle by the boats. There's a lot of bait out there, there's a lot of fish running fish out there. Got the binoculars, just looking at the robins and the blue tits and great tits flying around these trees around us, near us. And it's uh, just glorious day once again we've got two weeks of this coming out suppose so the fish are going to get it on so uh oh well, called a pop-up corn i bought it the guy in the shop kind of like looked at me as if to say you're insane and i've just had an eight pounder on it um with a uh, noffy boilie but she also didn't have much uh, story in either good tackle shop like um, and the other one has got a banoffee with a piece of tutti frutti enterprise uh, plastic corn on it. Uh, the first fish came to a yellow blowback rig, uh, yellow sweet corn, 15mm um, banoffee, mainline impact, uh, shelf life, and uh, that was a 16. And that rig also produced a couple of other fish uh sorry one fish which uh, snapped off that line not that rig see all these little insects flying around because that was the replacement rig which i put on straight afterwards um i'm putting on stringers of these squid scopex things uh chain reactions and um i'm also dropping in the odd pva stringer of boilies and casting out to the same area. I haven't put any bait in this area at all, apart from stringers and chain reaction. And all the bait went out there. But I have had two carp off there. One was a snap up and the other one was landed. But um, I'm just picking up these ones. I just saw that one top actually, that little eight pound. She was rolling over there, or he was, um, and uh, that was the line. Which makes you wonder how much, you know, they're swimming about cover that whole bay from dropping and sploshing to picking up the rig and screaming off he did get me around those uh try to get me around those trees but luckily not so lucky still having problem with that right hand reel he's definitely going tonight i'll get my new ones tomorrow or monday um and i'm going to put some 20 pound sorry 20 pound 12 pound adrenaline on for uh casting out into this bay and stuff Anyway, Steve's got Rosh Booth, I've got Petersfield. Um, I love you, bruv, and uh, tight lines to anybody who's watching this video.